So you'll be forgiven if your jaw is completely on the ground following the remarkable revelations around the story. The uh, Police and Prison Civil Rights Union has also released a statement saying they've noted with shock this escape by Tabo Besta. We'll hopefully chat to their spokesperson within the hour. Get you a sense of where their voice lies as we continue peeling through uh, what I mentioned is a completely remarkable story. So look out for that discussion within the hour. But in other news, the Basic Education Department says it's made progress in tackling pit toilets at schools, but in the same breath admits that there's still a lot of work to be done. The department held a press briefing earlier today in the capital, that's in Pretoria. There's been outrage when four-year-old uh, Langalam Viki died in the Eastern Cape after falling into a pit latrine earlier this month. The child's passing adds to the list of children who've lost their lives in this tragic way in this country. Ahmed Kaji has our report. More than 90% of inadequate toilets at schools have been repaired since 2018. This is according to the Department of Education. The department held a briefing on school infrastructure with a focus on pit toilets and overcrowding. In recent years, a school infrastructure has been under the spotlight as pit toilets and overcrowding continue to be a problem for the sector. Higher Education Minister Angie Motsecha outlined the progress made. When we started with the SAFE program, we had identified 3,398 schools, which are schools that were identified by provinces because infrastructure is a provincial competency. But National felt that we should intervene to assist our provinces. We will report to yourselves that to date we have replaced or we have provided 2,478 schools with infrastructure. Civil rights organizations have continued their calls for adequate infrastructure at schools and have considered legal action in recent months. However, the three provinces with the highest number of pit toilets are the Eastern Cape, KwaZulu-Natal and Limpopo. The department says most of the 900 outstanding projects will be completed by the end of the year. So some will be completed uh, by on or before next week Friday because the cut-off date is end of the financial year. About 700 of them will go to 2023, 2024. Some will be completed in April, some in May, some in June. Um, even before the end of the year, 700 uh, of those um, schools with inappropriate sanitation will definitely be completed in the new financial year. The department says it will continue on-site inspections in the coming weeks and months. For News of Africa on Channel 405, I'm Ahmed Kaji in Pretoria.